Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay. Like today, like we are going to complete uh, certifications. I mean, certification maintenance exam. So let me log into Salesforce Style Heart. Salesforce Style Head. So once uh, we are going to log into Salesforce Style Head, so we can able to see like which certifications we have and what are the maintenance we are going to complete. So those kind of details we can see here. We'll see. So now I am logging into like Salesforce Trial Head. So okay, I logged in that. So now we can go to like uh, uh, credentials. So here we can able to see like certifications or we can go with like maintain certifications here. Maintain certifications. So before that, uh, we have to go with the uh, profile. So go to profile. Yeah. So here. Hmm. So here we can able to see uh, what are the certifications maintenance due are pending. Okay, so like here in case like in this case like my certification should be like pending for two, so one should be like uh, Salesforce admin administrator, certified administrator and the uh, Salesforce uh, certified CPQ specialist. Okay, so now we are going to complete uh, Salesforce administrator certification maintenance exam. We'll see now open this link. So it this should be like uh, we need to complete before April five twenty twenty four. Okay, so still we have around. The, <laughs> A lot of time will be there. So now we are going to complete that. Okay. So this is the maintenance exam. So hit on this button. I mean, link. So now we can able to see here like administrator certification maintenance spring 23. So here also we can able to see. So administrator certification maintenance spring 23. So this is the administration certification. So we can complete now. So now go to here. So open this one. Okay. So now go to if you want, if you have any time, then you people can write out this all the information like how we are going to complete uh, all the asked questions into here. So let's say we'll go to here. So here, like you can say, uh, so question should be like, uh, what information is the digital details panel in the recently used reports? So if you want to go with all that information, then you have to read that. If you don't have time, then you can go with like some keywords. So just type with the reports. So you will get that all the information here. So create report window. So on next, go with other keywords. So reports created by users, reported reports created by others, others and user report type. So we have all the information, right? Let's we'll go with the A, B, C, and C. So reports created by user and others and record types. Okay. Now next question. So you put the contacts and leads. So 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 we, how we are going to import the records? So give the sales reps access to guided the process then what was the keywords means like it should be like a csv file right so data import wizard and trial together so we have to go with like a sample csv file okay now and which feature is efficiently removes the inactive fixed values so select unused values or use bulk desired <clears throat> and delete unused values so that we have to go with this one like um, if you want to delete bulk bins like we have to go with this value and uh, which type of process builder which type of process builder process can be converted using the migrate to float tool so it should be like uh, record trigger obviously okay now which type of process builder process can be converted using the migrate tool to migrate to flow so it should be a record trigger right so we need to cross check again. Okay, so now I'm going to verify this one. Okay, so now first step should be successfully completed, right? So now we'll go with the next tracking, I mean next model. So in certification itself, like we have two models. 
so first one should be like we completed so now second one should be like this one so what is the challenge here so here can sign up with other org let's say which you are going to connect sales ports or connect or just keep hit on the connect or button so let's say i'm going to connect my person or open this one so now i'm logging into my person work okay so now it's connected to my personal yes save it continue okay so now here my personal should be connected now launch so once our guys are connected we need to launch here so you will be redirecting to your personal uh, salesforce arc okay so now switch to lightning Okay, so now what here? What is the challenge here? So get hands on with the enhanced record page with the dynamic forms. Get hands on with enhanced record page with the dynamic forms. Okay, so create a new custom page record. Create custom case record page. Okay, so they are saying like you need to create a record page, right? Now go to which object? It should be like a case object, right? Now go to object manager. And go to case. Let me zoom out something. Okay. Now go to case. Okay. So after that, what are you saying? Like you have to create with the record page. Now go to record page, lightning record page. So that is on the option, right? So now go to case record page. It is that okay, lightning record page. Select. So new. It should be redirected to the flow builder okay so now what is the name of the case like name should be enhanced case layout right so now copy so now go to he's saying like app page home page right but he's saying like the record page right now go to record page select and next so label should be enhanced case layout and case should be i mean object should be case object okay so now next okay so after that so template clone the salesforce default page so template right so clone salesforce default page this one the page and should be like case group review default so now case group review default you need to select this one after this hit and that button we need to select this one and finish Okay, so now uh, case record and hand case layout should be like writing record page has been created now. Okay, so now what up, uh, what the next step? So upgrade the enhanced case layout record page to dynamic forms. Okay. Okay, so here is the option like upgrade now. So he's saying like. Upgrade the enhanced case layout record page to dynamic forms. So now we are going to update now. Update. So migrate. Now next. So now it should be like case layout. Case layout and finish. Now it should be this step has been done. This step has been done. Now up upgraded. So now next step. Set component visibility for the additional information section show when show only when priority equal to high okay set component visibility additional information section additional information section right so where is the additional information this is the detail section i mean this is the header section okay this is the additional information section right this is the additional information section so now upgrade now so now next case layout finish Okay, so case information now here. So now 
uh, Jim Lake, uh, what is saying again? So case priority, case priority equal to high, right? So now go to where is that case priority? So here is the information section. Case information section. So now case priority, right? So status that okay. Now case priority. Okay. So case priority. So add filter. So here should be like a case priority. So priority equal to high. Okay, now done. Case parity equal to high. So now save. Save. Activate. So now save again. So by default, R guys assign R guys a default. So now mobile and desktop. Now next. So mobile and desktop now save. Okay, now activation has been saved right again one more time save okay so this step has been done okay so this this setting as a priority equal to high okay so now activate the new page as the r default we activated r default right so now we are going to check so now this steps has been done right so now we are going to verify challenge So we can find the unexpected UI behavior, visibility updates, enhanced case layout record page. We cannot find the unexpected UI behavior and field visibility updates. Okay. Unexpected behavior and we'll see. So so you should be a case information layout. Okay. So now add filters. Okay, so now we'll try it one more time. So case priority equal to high. So now done. Okay, case priority equal to high. Now done. Now just save again. Save. Change has been saved. Activation. Now assign. It's already assigned, right? So now we'll move and we'll try again. Save. So now activate again. So our assign as our default mobile and desktop phone and next and save and finally save. So change has been saved now. Now go to here, press refresh. Okay, so now we try to verify. We'll see it will complete or not. Still, we are getting error, so we cannot find the find out the unexpected UI behavior, field visibility updates, and page layout record. Okay, so now we'll try. We'll try one last time. Okay, right. So we got this error, right? So what we did wrong, maybe we'll try last time. Now go to here again. So case details, it should be like uh, case information section. It should be like uh, uh, case information, right? But our place should be uh, case enhancement layout, right? So now go to here, additional information section. So set additional information section. Now add visibility, like you can say here. Priority equal to high. Priority equal to high, now done. Okay, so now save. So we'll activate again. So it's already assigned, right? Maybe we'll try one more time and save. So activate again. So assign as our default mobile and desktop. Now say next and save. So it has been saved and finally it's saved. So
so change has been saved right so now we'll try to verify again we'll see now we'll get it or not maybe earlier uh, we uh, added high priority should be like other section but we need to add again like additional information section only so we updated all the information section instead of additional information so now we'll see how it will work yeah so finally we completed so this is the way we need to complete this uh, administrator certification spring 23 yep thanks for watching